In this Mahasadi Bhattana Sutta, Buddha talks four elements of meditation in a brief way. But in some suttas, such as Mahaya Ulo Vada Sutta, Tradu Vivenga Sutta, Vidyama Vivenga, Pali text, etc. In those suttas, Buddha talks Four elements of meditation in wider way. In Mahahati Vedopama Sutta, also Venerable Sarikoda explained four elements of meditation in wider way. So today, how you should practice four elements of meditation in brief way, we will discuss. Unajya Prambhikwe Bhikkhu. Ima mewa gaya yadha jita yadha bani hi danda du so bicha wakati Adhi ima samay gaya patho yi dadu abo dadu dija dadu vayo dadu di Very brief What is the meaning? Again, very good A very good In this same body However, it is placed, however disposed, consisting of elements that there are, <coughs> in this body there are the earth element, water, the water element, the fire element, the wind element. This is Buddha's teaching, but to understand is very difficult. Hmm? How you should practice? Especially in some subjects like such as Mahayaulavada, Yaulavada, Subda, Dadu Vimanga Subda, and Mahahadi Vidopama Subda, etc. That element usually <coughs> Buddha taught. Kakala Krigata, two characteristics only. Hardness and roughness. Because they are main characteristics of art element. But in Vidama, <coughs> especially in Dhamma Sangani, Buddha dot six characteristics. Hardness, roughness, heaviness. Softness, smoothness, lightness. Why Buddha taught in this way? Because at the day, Buddha is preaching, Buddha was preaching the Vidyama in Devakwa. Listeners are usually Devas and Brahmas only. Their body is very subtle, not like human beings. So because of this reason, if Buddha divides our element two ways, hardness, roughness, heaviness, this is group art element. Group means heavy art element. Hmm? Softness, smoothness, lightness, this is light art element. In this way, if Buddha explain, hmm? divides into two portions. And that only they will understand clearly. Because of this is important. Third, six characteristics of an element. But in Sutta, in Sutta, Buddha explain only two. Why? Kakala, Krigata, Hardness, Roughness. Why? Because may, how, maybe this is soft. Although this is soft, if you touch carefully, then you may feel a little bit hardness. How soft may be there, may be still hardness. In the same way, maybe this is smooth. 
How smooth maybe if you rub, you can feel a little bit roughness. There may be lightness. This is light, for example. Hmm? Although how it light, there may be a little bit weight. <laughs> so weight is everywhere, hmm? and every uh, element. So because of this reason, Buddha is playing for human beings hardness and roughness. If they can discern hardness and roughness, heaviness automatically will arise from here in their mind. So because of this reason, Buddha taught only two characteristics. But we also follow the Dhammasangani system. Why? For so many leaders, when they are discerning hardness and roughness, very, very strong. Hardness is very strong. Whenever they close their eye, here, hardness is very strong. Heaviness is very strong. They cannot remove this hardness and roughness, heaviness. <coughs> because of this reason, whenever they close eye, the whole body became very heavy. The whole body became very hard. They cannot concentrate well. They cannot continue their meditation practice. So because of this reason, what we teach to make balance the elements, hardness and softness, roughness and smoothness, heaviness and lightness. So two together we teach, because to make the balance. When the elements are balanced, at that time only, they can concentrate well. If one element is in excess, they are afraid to, oh, to close their eyes. Because whenever they close, they can see only heaviness and hardness. Very difficult. Sometimes cohesion also very strong. So hardness, roughness, cohesion, these three, if are very, these three are very strong, they cannot concentrate well. Because they cannot, there are many unhappy feelings. Hmm? So because of the reason, they cannot meditate well. Very soon, they run away from the monastery. <laughs> <laughs> so, because of this reason, to make balance, we teach six according to the medicine system. Hmm? Hardness, roughness, heaviness, softness, smoothness, lightness. Then, flowing, water element, flowing, and cohesion. Fire element, heat and coldness. Wet element, subordinate and pushing. All together, 12 characteristics. How we should practice? For some meditators, hardness, if they practice hardness first, it is very easy for them. But for some meditators, a little bit difficult. Maybe they may feel hardness partially. They cannot descend throughout the body. Hardness. So because of this reason, usually we teach pushing. Pushing is not really characteristic of wet element or air element. It is the function of air element. So although it is function, many that can be gained characteristic or function both anyway. But this when they practice four elements meditation practically, and then they understand this pushing is very important. Very important means it is very easy to see through the body. This is one reason. Another reason is because of this pushing, other elements become clearer and clearer. If they are not clearer, for example, hardness is not clear, although they may be clear in one place, but it cannot spread through the body. Or if they cannot see through the body, then pushing in hardness together, if they try, then they will see pushing in hardness through the body together. So because of this reason, usually we teach fast pushing. So if pushing, how you can practice pushing? Pushing is, yeah, one breathing in, one breathing of pushing. In this case, you are practicing four elements of meditation, so you can follow through a 
be prepped. So especially you should try to descend in the center of your head. When breathing in, pushing, breathing out, pushing. In this way, if you try again and again, then you will feel pushing. If you feel or if you see or if you know the feel and the pushing, then you should try to focus on that pushing. Slowly it will become clearer and clearer. Anabana meditation. When your concentration develops further, slowly breath becomes more and more subtle. But for early miss meditation, if you practice systematically, the elements are day by day more and more clear. Clearer and eh? clearer. So because of this reason, other meditation subjects are uh, poor elements meditation, not safe. Poor elements meditation at the beginning stage not be clear, maybe very subtle. But if you practice again, again, then these elements will become evident in your inside knowledge. Hmm? So please focus that pushing in the center of your head while breathing in or while breathing out. Then you can feel this pushing. If you feel pushing, then please concentrate on that pushing. When your concentration develops further, then it will become clearer and clearer. Other than you should try to discern slowly, you are, please increase your discernment area slowly in your head. Then slowly you should try to see through the whole head, internally and externally. External means external skin also they are pushing. Internal means inside the head also there is pushing. So you should try throughout the head to see pushing. Then here pushing, pushing, pushing slowly up to foot. From from feet to head, head to feet. Eh? You should try again and again. Then if you can do some pushing, then while walking also you should try pushing. When you press your foot to step, another, another step. When you press, at the time also pushing. When you bend, there is pushing. When you stretch, there is pushing. In every bodily movement, there is pushing. If you can do some pushing thoroughly in every bodily movement throughout the body, then you can increase another one. Another one is hardness. Here, if you touch here, here is also bone, here also bone. If you touch both bones, then you can feel hardness. In the same way, if you touch both teeth, or if you bite both teeth, you can feel hardness. But if hardness is not spread throughout the body, then you can descend together with pushing. In this area, pushing, hardness, pushing, hardness, two together. If you try in this way slowly, when pushing is very easy to spread, then hardness also will spread together with pushing throughout the body. If you try in this way, please try alternately pushing hardness, pushing throughout the body, hardness throughout the body. Then if you see together, it is better, no problem. But you may feel this is pushing, this is hardness. You should try to see or to distinguish, huh? this is pushing, this is hardness. If you can do in this way, then every bodily movement, you should try pushing in hardness. <coughs> well, going, you should try pushing hardness. When you press your foot on the ground, you can feel pushing as well as hardness. So, while you are bending, pushing in hardness. While you are stretching, pushing in hardness. In every bodily movement, you should try to understand pushing in hardness. If you try again, again, naturally, roughness will appear. Roughness here, if you rub your clothes, you put your hand, you can feel roughness. In the same way, if you rub on the top of your teeth with your tongue, you can feel roughness. From this area you can find roughness, but if it is not spread throughout the body, 
Then you should train three together. In this area, rubbing your teeth with your tongue. Hmm? Please pay attention. Number one, push it. Then hardness. Then roughness. Three, what I need one by one. Then if you train three together in this way, then pushing hardness, roughness. Pushing hardness, roughness. Again, again, then we push it in hardness, spread. Roughness also will spread throughout the body. Usually roughness is for many leaders, they feel like many insects are crawling in their body. Hmm? In this way they may feel. Hmm? So this is roughness. If they practice again and again, they will understand clearly pushing hardness and roughness. While hoping also please try pushing hardness and roughness. Three, one by one, throughout the body. While bending, while stretching, in every bodily movement, we should try pushing hardness, roughness, these three together. Hmm? If you try in this way, then naturally heaviness appears because they are one group. Hmm? But if it is not clear, then you should try pushing hardness, roughness again, again throughout the body, and then you should press on the your thigh with your hand. Please press, then you can feel heaviness. Hmm? So, all together, four. You should try this four in every bodily posture, in every bodily movement in the same way. Hmm? If you can design this four, then another one is supported. Supported is very easy if, if after you had been get some hardness. If you be a design supported, it will be very easy. There is one small cottage. If it is nearly fall down, you support with another timber not to fall down. So this is supporting. In the same way here, supporting. Then support. Yeah. This is supporting. If it is not clear while meditating, while meditating you should not do like that. <laughs> <laughs> it is not necessary to do like that, but for example only we are showing. But if it is not clear, then you should try a little bit shaky. Not to fall down. If you cannot support your body, then you will fall down. If you can support your body to see, uh, to, play, to, uh, to make the body erect. <coughs> Then it is called supporting. But if it is not clear, then you can try together with hardness. Hardness and supporting, if you try again, again then you will understand supporting. If it is not clear, then you can do a little bit shaky. Not to fall, no? hardness, uh, uh, to make the body stable. Hardness and pushing, you can feel. No? Then all together, they are five characteristics. Pushing, hardness, roughness, heaviness, and eh? supporting. These five again, again you must try to understand. Eh? In every bodily posture, in every bodily movement. If you can design this five easily, then you can go another one. Another one is softness. When you are designing softness, you should not do like that. <laughs> You should relax your body. Eh? You should not try to make your body uh, strong. Eh? Please relax. Eh? And please relax and then your mind also should be relaxed. And then please touch inside your lower leg with your tongue. Then you can feel softness. Eh? If you try in this way, then you will feel softness throughout the body, but it is a little bit difficult for beginners. If it is difficult, how you should try? Again, please go back the previous characteristics. Please repeat again. Hmm? Then pushing hardness, roughness, heaviness, supporting, pushing hardness, roughness, heaviness, supporting. In this way, again, again, you must try. When you are concentrating a little bit, develop further. The other thing, please go back the softness. If you bring this again and again, then you will be able to see softness throughout the body. 
Then if you see softness throughout the body, then you should try in the same way to see in every body puja these six characteristics. Then another one is smoothness. If you want to try to understand smoothness, then you should try first softness. When the whole body begins soft, at that time you should wrap inside your lower lip with your tongue, with saliva. Hmm? Then you can feel smoothness. So that smoothness, uh, softness first you should try to the body there, smoothness. If it is not easy, then you should try to together softness and smoothness together then it will spread throughout the body. But in some parts soft and smooth may be very clear. In some parts may be not clear because bones are not easy to be very soft. Hmm? So because of this reason as a general only in DJ is not easy. Hmm? Every part, every where can only see softness. Some parts may be flesh may be or again may be soft and smooth. But bones are still hard. hard. Hmm? So because of this reason, in some parts may be clear, some parts may be not clear. But for some meditators, if they bright their softness, they feel their body is going into the ground, <laughs> into the floor. Because softness is very clear in their mind. Why? Maybe because of previous part of the so. <coughs> in previous life, they may have been practiced. Huh? They may, uh, they had been, they may have <coughs> practiced huh? this four elements meditation. Because of this reason, when they get some softness, it is very clear for them. The another one is yes. When soft, softness and smoothness become clear in your mind, then you can continue lightness. Naturally, when soft softness and smoothness appear in your mind, lightness also appear in your mind. But if it is not appear, then you can try heaviness again. When your bo whole body be very heavy, other than you should rest up your finger, no? like that, then you will feel lightness. Softness, smoothness, lightness. This is also, lahu batawi. Lahu batawi means light batawi. Hmm? <coughs> All together there are eight characteristics. These eight characteristics we should try to design in every bodily posture, in every bodily movement. If you can design this eight, <coughs> gain, then another two is fire element. It is very easy. Maybe now you are sitting for a long time. He is everywhere throughout the body, so very easy. But if it is not easy, then you can do like that. Hmm? If you do like that, you can feel warmness here. From this area, you can try to see throughout the body. Then, if he is clear, then please pay attention here in breath only. While breathing in the coldness, hmm? you can try to see this coldness again and again throughout the body. But for some meditators, because of their previous parami, maybe eh, they can see clearly coldness and heat everywhere. But for some meditators, maybe a little bit difficult. So because of this reason, as a general only, you should try heat and coldness. This is fire element. So all together, there are ten characteristics. Hardness, roughness, heaviness, softness, smoothness, lightness. This is art element. Heat and coldness, this is fire element. Sabote and pushing, this is wind element or air element. All together, there are three elements or ten characteristics. If you can design these ten characteristics <coughs> throughout the body again and again, in every body posture, in every, in every body movement, then you can continue another two, water element, flow and eh, cohesion. This is a little bit different. Why? This is not a tangible object. So if you, for example, if you touch somewhere in your body, you cannot feel flowing is many or not. 
you will not understand by touching hmm? because this is not tangible object this is the ob only my object only my body though you will not understand this quantum element so because of this design the other thing characteristic you should try being okay. If you try this thing characteristic again, again, then you will feel your whole body becoming tight. Huh? For example, if you grasp here, your hand, you can feel tightness. This tightness is called cohesion. Huh? <coughs> if you can see this cohesion, it is okay. If you cannot see, then how you should break it? Please try pushing hardness again. again then you will feel cohesion again. Hmm? If cohesion is clear, then flowing here. And the root of your teeth, there are slight parts are always flowing. But for those who had been practiced Anabana Abdul Pochana, then in every setting they should try to enter into Pochana, okay, Anabana Pochana. Imagine from Anabana Pochana, at that time, if they descend that little bus, they can easily they can easily descend 32 bars. If they can descend 32 bars at the dying, they can descend one part is flat. That flat circulation is flowing, flowing. It is very easy for those. But if they cannot, if they have not yet practiced huh? the anabana, then they must begin for element, then it may be a little bit difficult. So because of this region, from this area, those sh they should be addition. Slivers are always flowing. In your dark, slivers are also always flowing. Hmm? From this area, you should try to descend flowing. If it is not easy to spread throughout the body, then you can try together with another clear element. For example, coldness and flowing together. Or heat and flowing together or pushing and flowing together. In this way, if you try the cool or heat or pushing spread, then flowing also will spread together with them. Hmm? So all together there are 12 characteristics. If you can design these 12 characteristics in every body posture, in, in every body movement, gain and gain, then if you can design also very, very quickly, then you can change the order. The order means according to Buddha's teaching only. When Buddha teach in this way, because for higher concentration it is very easy. For example, earth element, water element, this is one group, one couple. If there is earth element, water element also present. If water element, there, are, there is water element, earth element also present. But they are having elements. So because of this reason, they are one group. Fire element and wind element, this is one group. Fire element is mm. light element. Wind element also mm. light. So because of this reason, they are one group. If they do in this way, concentration can develop further. So because of this reason, Buddha taught earth element, water element, fire element, wind element, according to this series. Hmm? So you should change that series. For example, hardness, roughness, heaviness, softness, smoothness, lightness, flow and cohesion, heat and coldness, supporting and pushing. According to this series, please try again, again throughout the body. Hmm? If you can design this two characters throughout the body again, again, within one minute, two or three rounds, then you should change to overview. Maybe overview, there may be some persons misunderstanding. Overview is from here, they must focus a little bit far away. They understand like that. No, not like that. Overview means as a whole, generally, you should try to focus four elements or 12 characteristics. For example, from here also you can focus throughout the body as a whole, 12 characteristics. Or from here also possible. But if you do it from here, some elements may be, when some elements begin in excess, then you can have very, especially hardness, roughness, heaviness, and cohesion. 
if these elements <coughs> are bigger in excess, then you cannot be here. So because of this reason, as a general only, you should try to emphasize only current You yeah. should not emphasize your body. You should penetrate inside your body for elements. When you are focusing for elements as a general throughout the body or the whole body, other than you should not move your attention from one place to another. Here for elements, here for elements, <coughs> here, here, here. In this way you should not move. Only just focus on four elements objects. If you focus on the four, these four elements objects, then you may be, <coughs> you may see these four elements nearly simultaneously. Other than you can change four group. Hmm? See, hardness, roughness, heaviness, softness, smoothness, lightness. You should be addition. This is an element. Flowing and cohesion. This is water element. Heat and coolness. This is fire element. Supporting and cohesion. This is air element or wind element. So, earth element, water element, fire element, wet element. Earth, water, fire, wet, earth, water, fire, wet. In this way, you should try to design four elements. And the first concentrate on the four elements of that. This is the beginning stage of concentration practice, some type practice. Hmm? But without seeing Karigari, if you recite only, this is not good, no beneficial. Hmm? So please, if you cannot see clearly, then please go throughout the body again. Then after, if you can this very, very quickly, then please overview again. Please focus four elements on the whole body, hmm? four elements of the whole body. Then if you can discern four elements, then please change four group again. Add what I find your way in this way. If you break this in this way, slowly concentration will begin. Hmm? You may be at the beginning stage, you may be able to concentrate for five minutes, ten minutes, etc. But if you break this again, again, then slowly you will be able to maintain your concentration more than one hour, etc. At the time, if you can concentrate on four elements of the in every single more than one hour or two hours, etc., then slowly. You cannot see your body. You can see a group of four elements only. At that time, for some meditators, these four elements begin narrow, begin small. But for some meditators, these four elements begin bigger and bigger, bigger and bigger, bigger and bigger. So some may feel their body is inside the room. Their body is full with four elements. <laughs> The whole room, so you can bigger and bigger. Why? This is a bigger their perception only. When their perception change, then they want to increase their four elements. They can see. But if they their perception is to make narrow, to make small, small area, then it also becomes small area. But four elements are always in their own place. But his attention perception only bigger, small. His perception bigger, bigger, only because of perception only. Hmm? Whether it is small or bigger, no problem. They should focus on that four elements of that. If they can concentrate well at the day, for some meditators, concentration cannot develop further. It takes for many days, say. So at the day, usually we teach to emphasize only four. Among other elements, there are six characteristics. Among six, hardness is very important. And water element, there are two, flowing and cohesion. But flowing is important. Fire element, there are two, heat and coldness. Heat is important. Then, wind element, supporting is important. So these four, hardness, flowing, heat, supporting. Hardness, flowing, heat, supporting. Seeing this hardness, you, sh you should pay attention. Add element. Hmm? Add flowing, water, heat, fire, supporting, weight. Hmm? Add water, fire, weight. Add water, fire, weight. In this way, 
this will emphasize this pro. When they are emphasizing this pro characteristic, they may see others no problem. But they should emphasize only this pro. The concentration may be begun, may begun deeper and deeper. Because the object becomes few, only four objects. Hmm? But for some meditators, when they are focusing towards the regards as whole group, hmm? concentration began to deeper and deeper, no problem. Other than it is not necessary to change, to emphasize only at one of the hardness, flowing, heat, supporting. This only they should not emphasize. If they can concentrate well, they should continue to characterize it. It is better. But if they cannot concentrate well, they should emphasize only for hardness, flowing, he supporting this for only they should emphasize. Then concentration will develop further. When concentration develops further, if they can maintain their concentration in every single more than one hour, then within few days they can see only white form. They cannot see their body, they can see a group of white form. In that white form also they must again take some four elements. But for beginners that white form is not silver. Why? Their concentration is not yet mature. Because of this reason, this white form also not stable. At the dying, how they should do as usual way, eh? they should concentrate on four elements only. Then slowly when their concentration becomes stable, this white form also will become stable. At the dying only, again, they should try to descend four elements in that white form. But for many meditators, when they are descending, four elements, when the white form appear, at the time they directly understand that this white form is nothing but a group of four elements only. They can understand why. But some meditators, they do not understand. At the time they should try, as usual way, hmm? the, the whole body hardness, in that white form hardness, the whole body hardness in white form hardness. In this way, again, again, alternately, if they design hardness, then slowly they will understand in white form hardness. If they gain design hardness in the white form, then again they should increase another one, hardness and roughness. As usual way, the whole body, hardness and roughness, in white form, hardness and roughness. In this way, if they increase one by one, then they will understand what characteristics are in the white form. White form is nothing but a group of twelve characteristics of four elements. If they understand the white form four elements, then they should concentrate on that four elements of the okay. When their concentration develops further, then they will see transparent body like ice block. What is transparent? Nobody eh? knows. Kahana Vichya Bhavena Adasa Dalanguya Vibhasanata Prasada Rubanama. This is mentioned in Visodhi Maga, the path of purification. What is the meaning? Buddha taught in the Mesagani or Pipe or in many Sodas, Pipe Prasada Rubha, transparent element, transparent Rubhas. What are transparent Rubhas? I transparent element, ear transparent element, nose transparent element, tongue transparent element, body transparent element. Body transparent element is throughout the whole body. Everywhere, if you pay attention, if you touch, then you can feel touching sensation. So if you feel touching sensation, everywhere is body transparent element because Body consciousness, kaya wenyana, arise depending on body transparent element only. So, by body consciousness, you can feel touching sensation. Because of this reason, 
Body transfer the element is throughout the body everywhere. But if you cannot break down three types of compactness, and then, then you may feel the whole body as X block. Transparent body only. Then transparent body is like Agasa Talawiya, like mirror. The whole body is like mirror transparent. So for ordinary eyes, it is not easy to understand this transparent body. They can see only second color and different forms only. But for which time I they can see, they can penetrate this transparent element. So because of this reason, both that taught five types of transparent element. Jaku Basara and transparent Kiya Basara uh, uh, soda Basara Ia transparent Kana Basara nose transparent Jiwa Basara tongue transparent body and Kaya Basara body transparent all together five transparent elements <coughs> so if you can see this transparent body again you must try to do some four elements in that transparent body many many leaders naturally they understand this transparent body is nothing but a group of four elements only. Mm. What is transparent? Mm. Glass is transparent. Mm. For example, there must be glass. Oh, mm. What is transparent? Water must be transparent. Water is mm. There must be water. Mm. There should be some such steps. So in the same way here, if you see transparent body, what is transparent? Four elements transparent only. <laughs> So the transparent is nothing for elements transparent only. So you should try to design in this transparent body for elements. Okay. If you can design, if you can concentrate on that four, four element object, okay, when your concentration develops further, your body will emit strong powerful lights. Strong powerful lights will come up from your body. So this is the light of wisdom. Which was that? Understanding of four elements. This is called wisdom faculty. Because of this wisdom faculty, this brilliant lights appear from your body. So at that time, if you want to descend the little bus, it is very easy. You can descend the little bus. From the little bus, if you go to casinos, four color casinos, okay. Fine, this is black. Hmm? See this black nila. Hmm? You can pay addition nila casino. Urine is yellow. You can do yellow casino. See urine, you can do nila casino. Black is red. See the black, you can pay addition as red casino. Lohita casino. Skeleton bones hmm. are white. Seeing the white color of bones, you can be, you can try white casino. So they are four color casinos. If you can try these four color casinos up to four channel states, then other casinos also very easy for you. On to other ding casinos. After ding casinos, if you want to go to immaterial channels, then it is okay, no problem. Hmm? So here, but if you don't want to go to there, or if you want to continue four elements meditation, then <coughs> you should try to do some four elements in that transparent body again and again. Eh? When your concentration develops further, from that transparent body, lights will come up. At that day, you should try in that transparent body to see space. Here, here. But if you can fully be a here, then you can see here small holes. From this holes, body hair is coming up. Hmm? You can see in the same way, in that transparent body there is space. You should focus on that space. Okay. If you can penetrate this space, then slowly you will see space. When you see space, simultaneously you will see small particles, calabas. For beginners, for some meditators, calabas 
not real color but a group of color but maybe but see because they are with some faculty is not yet show shell when they are with some faculty shell they can see real small particles for some many days uh, this particles may be a little bit big at that time in each big hmm, group of color bars again they should try to see space then slowly when they see space then it will break down into small and smaller and smaller pieces then finally they will understand color bars when they see color bars again they must analyze at least in each color bar, again, again, I had to explain uh, eight types of material are uh, element, water element, fire element, wind element. These four elements in each color bar, you must try to discern. There are two groups. One group is transparent color bars. Another group is opaque color bars. Here also transparent and opaque. Here, 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 six, six doors. Transparent color bar and opaque color bar, two groups. In transfer calabar also you should try to design four elements. In open calabar also you should try to design four elements. Again, again, through, uh, through uh, six doors. I do, here do, nose do, tongue do, body do, and mind do, heart. Hmm? If you design again, again, this four hmm. elements in transferring calabar and non transferring calabar, then you can continue other other uh, materialities such as color. What is color? Four elements color. Then you can design color, odor, smell. Hmm? What is smell? The smell of four elements only. And then taste, uh, odor, flavor, taste. What is taste? The taste of four elements only. What is taste? Uh, orange taste for example and the apple taste in the same way here what is taste color this four elements taste only and then nutritive essence what is nutritive essence four elements nutritive essence only. so this color would have flavor nutritive essence they are derivative robots called why they arise depending on four elements only without four elements this color Absent. Color will be nothing. Color, odor, flavor, nutrient S will be meaningless. So, four elements is funda fundamental elements. Depending on four elements, this derivative robots appear. So, you should try to design this derivative robot, the robots also again and again. So, if you can analyze each color bar up to this ultimate materiality set, then other than we can say you understand ultimate materiality. This is beginning stage. But in strong color bars, like faculty also include. In strong color bars, transparent body, transparent element also include. In strong color bars, sex determining material also include. So you should design again, again this character. Other than only you can understand ultimate materiality only. This ultimate materiality is the object of Vipassana inside. Calabas are not the object of Vipassana. So up to that stage, Buddha is referring. So I will explain again. Mahasri Brahma Soda. Puna cha brahm bhikkhu bhikkhu. Yat ima miwa gaya yata dida yata bani hida. Dadu so bhikkhya vaka di ati ima sumi gaya patavi dadu abo dadu dijo dadu vaya dadu di. Because again, a Beku reviews in this, this same body. However, it is placed, however, disposed. Consisting of elements, thus, in this body, there are an element, water element, fire element, wind element. This is brief expression <laughs> only. Brief saying. Hmm? So, after that, to understand more and more clear, Buddha says another example. They are having big way, etc. Go, 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 
what is the meaning? Just as though Bacha or skilled Bacha or his apprentice killed a cow and cut it into pieces and divide into parts and see that a cross crop to sell. In the sense, so do a very good. He views this thing in this same body. However, it is blessed, <coughs> however, disposed. In this body, there are earth element, water element, fire element, wind element. What is the meaning? The meaning is Kaumbacha. In Kaumbacha, cannot get rid of perception of Kaum. while feeding the cow, while carrying it to slaughterhouse, while tying it up, hmm? put one, one pole, one pillar, hmm? then killing. At the time, perception of cow is not disappear. Still there is perception of cow. Not only that, but even when he, after that, hmm? even when he see the carcass of the cow, at that time also perception cow is still exists in him. But when he cut into it into pieces, hmm? divide into parts, and carry it to a crossroad and the cell, at that time the perception of cow disappear in his mind. Only the perception of flesh come into being. Is it true? Mm -hmm. Yes. Beef dish. Mm -hmm. When you are eating, huh? mm -hmm. you think this is not cow, this is beef. <laughs> <laughs> is it true? Yeah. Yes. In the same way, only. Before, in the same way, in meditator, before he is meditating, four elements meditation, such as medically. He may see, this is man, this is woman, this is father, this is mother, this is son, this is daughter, etc. But if he practice four elements meditation, such as medically, when he see, when he break down the three types of competence, other than he will not see man, woman, father, mother, son, daughter, etc. He will see only ultimate materiality. What are three types of competence? Number one, samuhagana. The competence of group. Num, uh, number one, sandinigana, sorry. Sandinigana, the competence of uh, series. Hmm? Number two, samuhagana, the competence of group. Number three, kechagana, competence of function. What is the difference, these three types of competence? When you are designing four elements, before you, you last stage, for example, you can see transparent body. Other than you cannot break down the whole body into small body gas. This is, you cannot break down the competence of series because the calabas are rising and passing away. One calabas rising and passing away, another calabas rising and passing away. You cannot distinguish at that time. You can see as a competence only. You cannot break down the competence of series. Sandadi mm -hmm. But if you see space, then you can see small particles. Calabas. At the end, you can break down the competence of series. But these small body gas or calabas are not the object of vipassana. So many leaders, they contemplate these small body gas as nature, dukkha, ananda, nature, dukkha, ananda. This is only superficial, not real vipassana. Why? They cannot penetrate ultimate materiality. So again, they must analyze these calabas. 
In each club, uh, there is eight types of material ready. Then, these eight types of material ready, or nine or ten types of material are the ultimate reality. These are the object of Vipassana. <coughs> if you can see in each club, uh, eight types of material ready, or ten types of nine types of material ready, or ten types of material ready, then we can say you can break down the completeness of group. Group kalaba means group. This is the smallest group in the ultimate reality world. Hmm? So this is smallest group. You can break down, if you can analyze these kalabas, then you can break down the completeness of group. Then you, you, we can say you reach ultimate reality. You can see ultimate reality. But there is still is another group, completeness of function. So in each club there are at least eight types of materiality. In each materiality, they have different function. For example, earth element. Hmm? Patitana rasa. Patitana rasa means in this characteristic is hardness, hmm? for example. Hmm? Hardness is the characteristic of art element. But, but it is the place uh, to dwell other elements or other materialities within St. Clara. For example, now we are sitting here. Sitting on what? On the floor. This is art element. Without floor, without art, we cannot sit. <laughs> In this open space, we cannot sit. In the same way, within Saint Clara, other element is foundation for other element, other materialities. So, this is the dwelling place for other materialities. So, this is Pratikana Rasa. In the same way, our our cohesion. Or in some cases, hmm? abandoned rasa, hmm? cohesion. Cohesion is in some cases they translate as function. If there is cement bed, hmm? a few quantity of cement, hmm? you put maybe a little bit water, that cement will become solid because of cohesion water. Water can make many things to make solid. So this is a cohesion. So this what the elements function is to make cohesion only. So this is function. In this way fire element, what is fire elements function? It produces to make mature. Mm. For example, there's rice. If you cook it begins soft and make mature. Because of fire. Okay? In the same way also, fire element makes other uh, the associated uh, concomitant materialities to make salt. If fire is okay, then your body is salt. If fire is not okay, your body begins rap. When cool is very strong, skin so begins rap. This is natural. Huh? When weather is warm, Sweats are coming up other than skin began smooth. This is natural. So because of this, it makes mature. Hmm? Then what is the function of wet element? Pushing is the function of wet element. Support. <coughs> what is supporting? Here pushing only. Here one cottage is nearly fall down. Other than another timber make support. Supporting is part. Not to fall down, gain push. This is the function of what wet element. So they have different function in every materiality. Again, you must try to see this function. To see this function, how you should practice. There are lakana, rasa, pichu, patana, badatana, po. Lakana is characteristic. Rasa is function. Pichu, patana is manifestation. Badatana is proximate cause. So by way of lakana rasa bichu bhadana bhadana, by way of karadharisri function, 
manifestation and blossoming because you must decide again this ultimate materiality is again there. In every materiality. Other than that only you can see, you can break down three types of competitiveness. Kaumbacha cut the kaum into pieces and divide into parts. In the same way, a meditator must cut the whole body into pieces. This is kalabas, divide into parts. He must divide into parts, means he must try to see ultimate materialities in each kalaba. Other than only you can see ultimate reality. This ultimate reality are the object of vipassana only. But after you have been designed this ultimate materiality in six doors and 42 parts, how you should continue? Buddha explained, it is the Dhamma Gaya Gaya Nupasi Viharati, Vajdhamma Gaya Gaya Nupasi Viharati, it is the Vajdhamma Gaya Gaya Nupasi Viharati, etc. You must get some Adhimi Madhirati and Madhirati and Dhanali and Iskandali both. Then you should try Simudhya Dhamma Nupasi Vagasa Viharati, etc. You must try to discern their causes. Past causes produce present effect, present causes will produce future effect. In this way, you should try to bring the origination. After that, you must contemplate these formations, ultimate hmm? mentality, mentality, and their causes are called formations. These formations you must contemplate systematically as nature to another. Then, when you are inside, become medieval, other than you should emphasize only the solution. Hmm? And then you should contemplate them as nature to another. When you are inside, become medieval, at the end of you are Vipassana inside. But inclusion knowledge will arise, hmm? taking Nibbana as object. At the day, if you reach a high stage, then you can describe all craving and wrongdoing, completely without remainder. And then, then. Anesi docha viharati nacha kinti logi vadiri. Without depending. <coughs> Any five aggregates with craving in from you, you will be able to dwell in this world without clinging, without craving, without attachment, without from you. In this five aggregate world, you, you will be able to dwell. Hmm? And this is the four elements meditation, how you should practice. Is Vyuhana Rasa. Vyuhana Rasa means to increase the materialities. Hmm? Here, when <coughs> Vada element is okay, six grow on this one. Hmm? If Vada is absent, then trees cannot grow up. In the same way, Vada element <coughs> produces other elements to increase more and more. Hmm. This is the function of water element. The cohesion is the manifestation. Sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Okay. Let's discuss any question. Sayada. Um Bhikkhu Bodhi defines manifestation as the way that something appears to a meditator, I believe. This may be it manifests in his mind, in meditator's mind, <coughs> manifest. Hmm? So in this way also he must try. Hmm. Um, I have never really understood that definition, and I was hoping you would comment further on what manifestation Yes, for example, is. Well, they are discerning flow hmm? for elements meditation. They can also feel cohesion. This is hmm. manifest in their mind. Hmm. So that manifestation. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so, uh, just as an example of what you were saying about water, could you explain how um, materiality, let's say, in the flowers, when they when when they're cut, they're, they're dead, but they get put into water. What is what is occurring in the, with the materiality of that it that it sustains their 
if you take some four elements in that flower, hmm? then you can see flower is nothing. Only a group of small body gas calabas. In each calabas, there is fire element. That fire element is called heat. <coughs> that fire element can produce new generation. But if the fire element cannot produce another new generation, it begins slowly, what called less and less, and slowly will disappear. But if still it produces new generation, then it will remain as original form. And it's the water that Jidamata helps it do that. Is that Maybe water is supporting cause mm. and increases the increase, temperature. Increase. Mm. Water is supporting cause. Mm. Swine also saying supporting cause. Mm. What's what that? Swine art. Mm. And also supporting cause. Real producing cause is inside calabas there is fire element. That fire element produces a new generation. But in the trees, when they are growing, at the day, in each calabas there is fire element. That fire element produces not <coughs> only one generation, but many, many generations. If they produce many, many generations, it, they begin bigger and bigger slowly. But if they do not produce, cannot produce any further, then it will remain as natural, yeah, but what? It will remain same, same sex. Yeah. And what about the nutritive, uh, the nutritive essence in a tree? Nutritive essence in the trees is to for growing up, they cannot produce any further. Because that nutritive essence can produce another generation when they, when they are supported by digestive fire. But in the trees, there is no digestive fire. <laughs> digestive <laughs> fire is only in animate war, so we can take up body. So because of this reason, in the trees or in each kind of war, in animate war, hmm, there is no fire element. Because of that, sorry, digestive fire. Because of this reason, nutritive essence in those trees, they cannot produce another generation. In uh, uh, just taking up the heat element um, in not plants but in animals or human beings, if you can reduce the or balance the heat element, uh, then that means that uh, you can uh, there'll be less growth. I mean, of the body. Maybe if you can balance the heat element. Balance, we usually we teach eh, coldness. For example, she is very strong. Yes. And excess. And then, then usually we teach to emphasize coldness. Right. When they emphasize coldness, she slowly begins. Right. Yes. Right. So, yeah. Heat and coldness become balanced. Right. In, in terms of nutritive, uh, like food and so on. If you balance, you can balance the heat by taking cold food, for example. Yes, yes, maybe this is for experts who understand nutrient. <laughs> 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 like ginger, they can produce heat in the body, etc. Mm -hmm. mm. Penetrating, uh, Sayadaw, the uh, compactness in series. That's done by is it looking for the, s the space? Yes, yes. Space, this is in number one. If you see space, and then, then you will see Calabas. Hmm? If you see Calabas, then we can yeah. say you have been break down the compactness of series. Mm -hmm. But this is an argument, you cannot reach argument reality. Mm -hmm. So again, you must analyze each Calabas. And then, then you get another argument reality, but not function. Mm -hmm. So because of this reason, you must gain this uh, by way of characteristic function, manifestation, and proximate cause. There are two causes, hardware cause and proximate cause. Hardware cause is especially referring previous cause. Previous past life, yeah, you had the accumulated son, whose son comes. Mm -hmm. For human beings, or a whole song for 
and they know no body. Body means even bad and dead. A wholesome karma is also occasionally can produce bad hazard. So these wholesome and awesome karmas, based on ignorance, craving, and clinging, you accumulate death in previous life. They are far away cause. But proximate cause is here, for example, I decade club. If you analyze their dim materialities, art, water, fire, wet, color, water, flavor, nutritive essence, life, faculty, and I transfer it earlier. All together, the material is. Among these the material is for an element. What is proximate cause? The remaining three elements are proximate cause. What are other three elements? Water element, fire element, wet element. Art element alone cannot rise. <laughs> so proximate cause is three. They are vice versa to each other. So proximate cause also you should try to see. Far away of cause also you must try. No question? <laughs> yeah, no. Do you think that the Buddha's teaching on these uh, elements would have um, supported or affected uh, like medicine, you know, medicine makers and, you know, Ayurvedic uh, practitioners? Buddha maybe do not emphasize medicine, but occasionally he permit medicine to take yes. because there are four causes to for our materiality. Karma is one cause, mind is one cause, temperature is one cause, nutritive acid is one cause. Among these four we cannot control karma. This is first life. So we can do nothing. But we can change temperature mind from a happy mind to happy mind, we can change. Eh? A more happy mind, jhana mind is very strong. Vipassana insight is very strong. But improved knowledge is very high. So we can change this mind. This mind, higher, higher, and higher minds can produce superior materialities of throughout the body. Because of this reason, also fantasies may disappear. We can change this one. Temperature. <coughs> external temperature also important. We external temperature affect to our body. So if we can change temperature, if we uh, use our stable and uh, suitable temperature, then we are now changing cause. Hmm? We can prepare, hmm? we can make. Hmm? The another is nutritive essence. Suitable food we can eat. Huh? Unsuitable food we, should, we must avoid. What is suitable? What is unsuitable? We should discuss with um, skill doctors. Huh? So this is good. So these three we can change, but karma we cannot change. Sir, page 20, when we when we uh, think of pushing heaviness, hardness, uh, is it? Uh, it's not vipassana though, is it? Maybe <coughs> this is at the beginning stage. Eh? Yeah. You cannot break down the three types of competitiveness. As long as you cannot break down three types of competitiveness. You cannot see ultimate materiality. If you do not see ultimate materiality, if you contemplate vipassana, this is only just superficial, not real vipassana. You, you ask what question? Me? Yeah. Previously you asked me what, what, 
Really, or you have question? Uh, what I asked just now? Yes. Mm, yes. Mm. I asked whether the four elements, uh, the teaching of the four elements, by as taught by the Buddha, had uh, affected uh, affected um, um, practitioners of, like we call them doctors, but those days they were Ayurvedic. Uh, When you say if you go and you penetrate four elements in in the um, past, in the past, and you let's say if you've gone into dependent origination and you penetrate four elements in the previous life, is it? Is it possible? I mean, are the four elements like I, I can, I can see penetrating four elements in the present situation, and being able to discern like color, smell, taste, and nutritive essence. But can you, you can discern that as well in, in because you're penetrating in your bhavanga, correct? And then how can you penetrate four elements? As if they're real when they're not, they're not present. Does that make sense? Maybe you must have some ultimate mentality, materiality, bhakwa. Slowly, slowly. Hmm? For example, you enter into jhana. Imagine from jhana, you take some jhana petas. When, as soon as you emerge from jhana, jhana disappears. If you reflect, review <coughs> jhana feathers, this is reflecting my only, not jhana mind. So jhana is already finished first. <coughs> but you can reflect this jhana feathers. You can see this jhana feathers. Is it true? Yeah. Yes, in the same way only. You must design an ultimate mentality material here. Externally and internally. Without discerning external work, how you can discern external there is four elements. How you can discern? You should not imagine. <laughs> Practically, brief <breathe> sprites. <laughs> you will understand four elements. For example, here, if you rub, you can feel here hardness, roughness, heaviness on your clothes. Hmm? Roughness, heaviness, softness, smoothness, lightness. Long and cohesion, heat, coldness. If you can design four elements on your cloth, you will see only a cloth is nothing but a group of small body gas calabars. If you analyze these calabars, then you can see four elements in each calabar. Please increase here, flow. If you design cloth, four elements in that flow, you can see only a group of calabars. If you analyze these clubs, then you can design four elements directly. But internet, 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 you must do in this way. It slowly increase your design area. <coughs> it's kind of well. If you can design in external four elements, this is also the same part. <laughs> mm -hmm. As if it's kind of, you must try. So because of this reason, Buddha, Iti Ijadawa Gaya Gaya Nupasi Vuhiradi, Vaidawa Gaya Gaya Nupasi Vuhiradi, Ijadawa Gaya Gaya Nupasi Vuhiradi, Ijadawa Gaya Gaya Nupasi Vuhiradi. You must design ultimate mentality immediately, internally, externally, internally, externally, both. After that, Smudhya Dhamma Nupasi Vagasama Vuhiradi, Sarada Buddha taught. Systematically. Smudhya Dhamma Nupasi is the other inside knowledge. You must design the same past causes. Past causes produce present effect. So at the, if you gain this uh, ultimate mentality, eh, ultimate mentality, internally and eh, internally, internally and eh, externally, other than only you must go past, as if external war. So before, maybe before meditating stage, you may see your body, in that body you gain this some poor elements like external war. You can see clearly poor elements. Then if you design the you can break down three types of components. You can see small particles. You should analyze this color first. Then you can see ultimate materiality. 
the usual days are early my mother ready and then nama roba my mother my mother and this will slowly increase up to but ringing moment slowly you must listen nama roba my mother bakwa and the same will pass also pass like four element also you can listen like it's kind of a but without designing it's kind of a four elements you cannot design fast If you get this uh, here on your cloth, four elements, they are same, it's done. They are also it's done, but also the same. Maybe color, color, what color? Here, yeah, this is what? This is my rock's color. There must be rock. Color is dependent on this rock. Color of here. In the same way, color is nothing but four elements color only. Dependent on four elements color arise. In the same way, smell. What is smell? You can smell here. Depending on this rock, smell a beer. In the same way, depending on four elements, smell a beer. That smell is four elements smell only. So can I say that there is nothing, uh, because there is nothing but four elements smell only. Yeah. Because there is nothing but four elements It's more tangible, tangible. It's just kind of physical feeling of the four elements, the honey. But at the day, if you see clubhouse, this is not physical, you are what called body, uh, tangible object. At the day, you are inside knowledge, this is mind or cognitive process. That mind or cognitive process can realize this ultimate reality. So, can, can you, so, so, what is the subject of the recognizing the smelling color and the taste of? Subject is mind or inside knowledge. Inside knowledge, you can distinguish this color. When you see color bars, the color is uh, in each color bar, there is color, maybe red color or white color or violet color. There may be one different types of color. For example, here, head hair. If for some persons who, whose head hair is black, they, they can see black color. Some persons who and their hair is white, then you can see white color. <laughs> <laughs> so, color is nothing but only four elements color. The other day, when you see color bars, this color also you can see by inside knowledge. But these colors are for each time you are, huh? the object of eye consciousness also possible. But when you are close your eye, other than if you design these colors, they are the object of your insight knowledge. But a group of small body gas color can be the object also eye consciousness. One color bus color cannot be the object of eye consciousness. Mm. Because eye consciousness power is very, uh, very low. For example, from the call. Who takes one, one, one but in this again? Who takes the cost? What cost? Rapture. Hmm? Huh? Parcha, parcha. Hmm? Parcha, I can see mm -hmm. more than 10 months. <laughs> mm. uh, our eye cannot see more than 10 months. <laughs> so the power is very weak. But inside knowledge, which time I is very powerful. Which then I can see can penetrate a new materiality. Now I have one question. Uh, if a, a person has a very high concentration and uh, he has already penetrated the ultimate ultimate materiality, when he sees the light, uh, what appear to be and also the sun, are they the light and the sun? <coughs> are they what are they are they 
the leg, the, yeah. yeah, and leg? sound. 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 Mm. So are they, do they, do they, are they consist of four elements? Yes. Sound is nothing but the limb you will use and it's playing here. Right. Attacking two types of batteries, mm. up and in, because of wire weight element. When they strike to each other, sound and we are on. And, and this is a four element? Art element, here also art element. Right. Two types of art elements, because of weight element, they attack. Weight is pushed mm -hmm. to attack, other than sound and we are. In the same way here also. Art element and mind produce material ideas also art element. Here also art element. Two types of art element they attack because of mind. Mind yes. produce air element. They attack, they attack, they saw and they are here. How about light? Light. Light is because of higher concentration. Concentrate that mind which arises depending on your heart, which can produce uncountable calabas. E each calabas has color, one calabas color and another calabas color, they rise closely, very very closely, because of this reason you may think like this continuous, but really this is not continuous. Hmm? Then another is, inside that mind produce calabas, in each calabas there is fire element, that fire element is called temperature, that temperature also can produce Uncountable generations, not only internally but also externally. Mm. So here, if you see when you are concentrated on the breath object, when concentration develops, you may see here light. But in this case, if you see this light, but light is not yet stable. So because of this reason, you are also not yet practice four elements meditation. So you may not discern four elements from the light. But when you reach Vipassana, especially Udiya Vya Jnana states, rising in person with inside knowledge. Hmm? At the day, light is stable. At the day, if you do some four elements in that light, that light is nothing but a group of small body gas only. But these body gas are very subtle. Subtle means here, in this space. You may feel a little bit touching sensation if you do like that. Because in this space there are many particles, many colors, but they are very sudden, not cross like that. So because of this, then you cannot see easily. But with your wisdom eye, you can see here small particles. This is one reason, because of this reason also. When they practice four elements meditation, if their perception increase, then slowly their body began bigger and bigger, their feet, but not really bigger, but for animals in the eastern they, they, they can see at the time. So these calabas, temperature produced calabas, there is also color. That color also bright, also concentration. So combination of these two types of Kalabas color is called the light of wisdom. But in Eastern, this is temperature produced Kalabas light only. Kalabas color only. Okay, today's latest stop. Sharing very. Idame Bonya, Idame Bonya, Asawakaya, Asawakaya, Waha Hodu, Waha Hodu, Idame Bonya, Idame Bonya, Ibana Sat, Ibana Sat, Pachayo, Pachayo, Hodu, Hodu, Idame Bonya, Idame Bonya, Saba Sadana, Saba Sadana, Pajima. Pajema, Tisabe, Tisabe, Mesama, Mesama, Punya Baga, Punya Baga, Labandu, Labandu, Sadu, 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 Sadu.